again, haunting Bills fans. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the Subway Post Game Show. It's been nearly 18 years since Scott Norwood booted the game-winning attempt wide right in Super Bowl 25. That missed the first of four straight Super Bowl losses for the Bills. They haven't won a title since. And Monday night, because of wide right again, they may miss the playoffs for a ninth straight year. Now, Ryan Lindell's miss from 47 yards out on Monday. Not the only reason they lost to the Browns 29-27. But then again, neither was Norwood's kick, the only reason they lost to the Giants in Super Bowl 25. But that's all people remember. Here's what helped in the loss on Monday. Four Bills turnovers, including three Trent Edwards interceptions in the first quarter alone. Still, though, they had the lead until Phil Dawson nailed a 56-yarder with a minute 39 to go. And that really helped out the Browns, who appeared to give up a 13-point lead in the fourth quarter after blowing what was a fourth-quarter lead against the Broncos last week. But with the win, Brady Quinn officially notched his first victory, though the numbers not nearly as productive as they were last week against the Broncos. Just 14 of 36 for 185 yards, but one thing does stand out. He didn't throw an interception for a second straight week, and he did lead the Browns on six scoring drives, including a 12-play 96-yarder at the end of the first. But what has happened to the Bills of late? Started the season 5-1, and one, best in 15 years, but since then, offense has gone south, Defense has begun to fail as well. The team has now dropped four straight games, and the result is begging the question, is Trent Edwards okay? He suffered the concussion and the loss to Arizona, and since then, four touchdowns and eight interceptions after turning the ball over just twice before that. And it also leaves the Bills in a very precarious situation in the AFC East. First of all, they're in the cellar, playing worse than the three teams above them. But secondly, even if they were tied at 6-4 and four with Miami and New England, they'd still be trailing because in this four-game losing streak, three of those defeats were to division rivals, making things very difficult moving forward. Now, there is one positive to take out of this game for Buffalo. Marshawn Lynch finally played the game that the team has been expecting. First time this season, he surpassed 100 yards rushing. He had 119. He also had 10 grabs for 58 yards and a score. So at least there's something to build on. But for a second straight year, Bills fans devastated on Monday night by a long field goal. Last year, blowing that game to Dallas, a 53-yarder, the winner there. This year, turning it over to Cleveland four times and a 56-yarder here. That'll do it for the Subway Post Game Show. But for more, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.